a number of people have been asking me questions about the information that will be presented at the trial. Will this be a kangaroo court or no? And they want to know who my sources are, who my witnesses are, and how you know credible are they? Number one, obviously I have some deep sources and uh, these sources are deep within the governmental agencies of this nation who also recognize what went on with the fall of the Soviet Union. Now I'm not going to give you that information now but I do want to say this that we are going to present at the trial that Barack Hussein the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama was indeed a CIA operative not a CIA employee. We're going to demonstrate that. We're going to demonstrate that both Vladimir Putin who was a KGB agent and Barack Hussein the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama was a CIA operative. I was first introduced by a contact who said to me that Obama was not a red diaper baby but that he was a red passport baby and that the red passport was what the murderers of Lieutenant Qual Harris was looking for when they broke into the passport office. They were not looking for a red diaper baby. That's code. They were looking for a red passport baby. Now, we want to be able to, at the trial, we are at the trial, we want to be able to expose Obama completely and fully. And we believe that we're going to be able to do that in an organized way come May the 14th, the year 2010. The man is a CIA operative and is now the most powerful man on the planet. The two most powerful men on the planet right now are Vladimir Putin, Vladimir Putin even though Dmitry Medvedev is the president of Russia, the man who holds the power is Putin. What the nations have done counter in each other is that they have put, they ushered Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama, into the presidency. They ushered him in. And it's all about Afghanistan. Remember, the Soviet Union in 1979 invaded Afghanistan. The CIA in 1981 sent Obama to Afghanistan. It, the fall of the Soviet Union, the rise of Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama, and Vladimir Putin is all about Afghanistan, Al-Qaeda, and the Taliban is all about Barack Hussein Obama and Osama bin Laden. Afghanistan is the intelligence heartbeat of the world. We're going to show it to you at the trial. We're going to show you this at the trial. That's where Osama bin Laden is at right now. That's where both Vladimir, Vladimir Putin and Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama, and the three most powerful men on the planet, well, I'm, I'm willing to believe that Osama bin Laden is dead now, but that have not been said. You understand, we're going to be dealing with this at the trial. One other thing. I hear people running around here all the time lifting up Ronald Reagan. Now, I, I revere Ronald Reagan greatly. Don't misunderstand me. I revere Ronald Reagan greatly. I think he was a patriot par excellence. He was an orator, best we've seen. He was an American and created 20 million jobs in the American economy during his eight years and brought America back from a state of weak listlessness, rebuilt the American armed forces. I revere Ronald Reagan. But Ronald Reagan is no match for Obama, 
or this age. So you need to shut up talking about him. And the other thing about if Ronald Reagan was so powerful, now listen to me, Ronald Reagan and Newt Gingrich, if Ronald Reagan was so powerful, he could have overturned Roe versus Wade while he had eight years in office and four years under George Bush Sr. The same way Obama in less than a year and a half has put in health care reform, the most difficult legislation ever in the history of the world, Obama accomplished it. If Ronald Reagan was so great, he could have overturned Roe versus Wade. He ain't as great as all you people keep talking about out there. And now that don't mean that I don't revere him. I love him. I revere him. He's my hero. I just want y'all to shut up and focus on the fact that you're dealing with something that you don't have any idea how maniacal Obama is. You need to shut up and pray. And if you're going to talk about Obama, don't keep raising Ronald Reagan, but raise the doggone birth certificate, damn it! Talk about that! Stop talking about Ronald Reagan! It's the birth certificate! It's his illegal, non, not a natural born citizen status! Keep digging Ronald Reagan up out the grave every two minutes. Ronald Reagan this and Ronald Reagan that. Now, I love Ronald Reagan. He's my hero, but he is not fit for today's battle. This is our battle. And this battle must be fought the appropriate way. So sick and tired of Sean Hannity talking about Ronald Reagan make me sick, make you want to puke. At any rate, the red diaper baby and the red passport. Yes, sir. Come on to this trial here in New York. Come on up here and watch God work. That's right. Going to be May the 14th, the gavel will fall. And when it does, it'll be worse than the falling of the World Trade Centers. When the gavel falls, we march around Columbia University seven times, and on the seventh day, seven times on the seventh day, be more horrendous than the fall of the Twin Towers down there at Battery Park in New York City. Come on up here. You won't, don't want to miss it. You want to be here. I need you praying for me. I need you saying your prayers and support of what God is doing through me. And I need you here. I don't care if there are 10 million people in the streets of New York. I need you here. I need you here. And like I told you before, like I told you before, this costs something. No, this is going to cost something. I said, this is going to cost something. You can't sit there and you're lazy, boy, and think we're going to get the victory. This is going to cost you something. You got to get off your porch and your mint juleps and your lemonade and your iced tea. You got you to gotta come to New York. You got to sacrifice. You got to spend some money. got to go in that 401k program. You got to be here. This is going to cost something. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Outlaw. That's what God said. That's what God said. That's